Our vision is the future, a possible future, or just fantasy? This is a very beautiful question I got from a patron of mine. And in this video, I will try to answer it and give you my perspective on things. Hopefully, it will help you further. Like, subscribe, and share. Hi. My name is Lot Fimrad, and in today's video I'm going to answer a question from a patron of mine. And a patron is somebody who contributes and supports me on the website Patreon, where I do publish uh, videos mainly um, that are partially only for people on Patreon, and some are there earlier, like days or sometimes weeks or even months earlier than I publish them publicly. So check out the link in the description. So today's question is, actually it's from two days ago, the question, are visions the future? A possible future? Or are they just fantasy? I just gave you a moment for you to answer it for yourself first. And you might say it's one of them, it's two out of three, you might say it's three out of three, or you may have a completely different answer. And in that case, please put it in the description, uh, in the comments. So, what's my perspective on this? I'm not going to try to convince you of anything. My role is not to convince you, my role is just to put you to think, is to give you a different perspective on things, so that you can see that there is more to life in general than your past, your past experiences. Because when we think, we base everything on our past. And seeing a different perspective on things is actually helping you to open your mind to become aware of the multitude of possibilities. New possibilities you may have never thought of because your past could not lead to that. Although your past led you to watch this video. And this is also, in short, the answer the question I got. So, you may have experienced that you would have a vision and then it would come true. You may have experienced this a few times. You may have experienced this and then things another time didn't come true. So one time it did, one time it didn't. You may also have been experiencing that they're just nice fantasies. So if they're fantasies, what does it mean? It means something in you would love that to happen. We generally fantasize about things that we want. We can be conscious can be unconscious that we want something. And that has to do with our previous experiences, that has to do with the wounds we're still having, with trauma we haven't resolved, for example. Or with the lack of inspiration. So the vision is showing us, and this leads also to the second option, to what's possible that you haven't thought of before, that we could not think of, that we could not imagine. But then the vision, boom, is putting us there. And then everything is in that vision. It makes sense and everything matches and it all fits together. And then, whoa, wow, this is a completely different reality. People back in the days didn't believe they could fly. Only gods could fly and birds. 
imagining that everyone can just step into a metal box and fly to the other side of the planet. People could not. Imagine that you could travel from London to Australia, from England to Australia, that you could do that within one day. It was craziness. It was taking weeks to even sometimes more than a month because you had to sail all the way around Spain and Portugal and then around Africa, South Africa, and then coming back up and then heading towards Australia, going through the Indian Ocean. It's, that was with a lot of danger and everything. And I think quarter, a third, or maybe even half of the crew would not make it. Or maybe it was in the, in the, in the, in the round trip, half of the crew would not make it. So telling them like, hey, you step in and you're comfortable and you can sleep and somebody is serving you and you don't need to do anything. And then you're right there and it's just two people who, no, maybe, okay, generally it's three or four people because you have uh, backup pilots who take over after a certain number of hours. So one or two can sleep. But let's say four people will drive you there, will, fly, will ship you there. I would be like, ah, it's crazy. You need a full crew and with everything on board and to, yeah. But if somebody would have had that vision and would see it so clearly, he would know that it's actually possible. He would not know how to do it, but he would know it's possible. When the Wright brothers started working on building the first aircraft and flying with it, even if it was just for 20 seconds, they had had the vision. So they saw what's possible. So they started working and trying to create, to materialize what they saw in the vision. And that's how a lot of visionary people have been doing things, have been creating things. See, the name already says it, they're visionaries. Yeah, they had a vision. So, possible future. But it can also simply be a fantasy, or it can be a possible future when it's something you really don't want, or unconsciously don't want. So, a force within you can lead you to there. So, you can either start focusing on getting there, by making all the choices that are needed to get there or make all the choices that will keep you from getting there. Some people get a vision of, of, of a horrible accident, so they choose to postpone the trip. Or people see something and like, wow, I really want that. And then they will start be focused and alert on everything that comes in the path that can contribute to them getting there. And can be completely unconscious, like somebody wants to buy a red Volkswagen Golf. And you say, okay, I want to buy one. And before you know it, you start to see them everywhere on the street. Wow, oh, there's a red Golf. Oh, there's a... But if you wouldn't be having that in your mind, intention, consciously or unconsciously, you would not start to see them. But I'm sure that in the coming 24 hours, if you go out, you will notice red Volkswagen Golfs. Even if there's only one in the city, you will see it when it will pass by. And if tomorrow I say a green Dacia Logan, you will see, even if there are only a few in the city, you will see the ones that will be within your area of view 
and you will turn your head on the right moment and you will see it. And sometimes we have that unconscious need to do something while we don't want, like somebody wants to stop smoking. So you make the choice. So you saw the vision, you saw yourself of not, of, of, of being a non-smoker. So you start to deciding not to buy cigarettes, not to walk even past the shop where you could buy them. And subconscious you st something in you still wants because there is the trauma, there is the wound, there is the addiction. And then somebody is smoking in front of you and is offering you a cigarette. And you take that cigarette and the moment you, you light it and you start smoking, you realize you don't want to smoke. But yeah, this moment, oh, it actually feels good. Okay, okay, only this one, but I'm still, I'm, I'm still stopping. But this one, okay, this is an exception. And this can come from trauma. Smoking has to do with, in most cases, that your mom stopped breastfeeding you too soon, too fast, too abrupt. Other addictions have other sources. And these are things we can work on. So I hope this monologue of mine has triggered things in you, has put things in motion. Whether you feel good or bad now is irrelevant. Just that it shook up something in you and that um, something will happen. Please do send me your questions in a direct message or put them in the comments. I love to answer questions from people because then I know that it's not just me being inspired by myself and having my visions and starting to talk, but actually I'm contributing to you, you who is out there and who has questions he wants answers, wants answers to. And sometimes you don't need the absolute answer. You just need something that will lead you to the answer for you because visions can be something for you and something else for somebody else. For you it can be the future, for somebody else it can be a possible future, for somebody else it can be just fantasy. So what is it going to be for you? And this applies to all the questions that you have. Send them to me. Let me help you find your answer. And if it's a very personal thing, if it's something that's, oh, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, if you have that feeling, we can work in one-on-one. -on -one. There's a link in the description. Click it. Or contact me directly via whatever platform you're watching this. And let's work on this. See you soon. Like, subscribe, and share.